This is definitely gonna be a very emotional video for me. Dang, all them birds. <laughs> Over here outside, it's 106 degrees Fahrenheit. That's like, what, 32, 30 degrees Celsius? It's hot. But good thing I'm in the shade. On my previous video, I talked about my... The one habit. Or, there's a few, but this one habit is really sticks out the most and that is my lust habit i'm gonna start from the beginning so obviously a lot of i'm not the only one so a lot of guys have um an addiction mine is with lust with Masturbation. <sighs> okay. Oh my god, I feel so like embarrassed. But I have to talk to about this so I can be able to help people. But I'm gonna start from the beginning. So it was, I'm in, uh, I'm about to become a senior. So this is back almost what, six years ago? Six. Yeah, six years ago, so going to fifth grade, no, sixth grade going to seventh grade. So I was in Mexico and just for a little vacation, seems fun, right? And um, I thought it would be any typical uh, vacation because uh, every time I go to Mexico every summer, I usually visit my great grandma for cattle. Pretty fun stuff. Riding horses. Damn. Pretty fun stuff. But I remember this one time where we were bored all day. It was hot like this day. So we were inside the house. We had internet. So I think. Oh, I didn't ha have my phone. So because my mom would think I will lose it. But my cousin, my older cousin, uh, had his phone. And this is not to, like, oh, it's his fault. I'm just saying, like, that's how it started. I'm not going to blame him, but this is how it started. So we were on uh, the couch, and I looked over to see, what are you watching? And it was pornography. I was like, what is that? And then he showed me, showed me the website, the, the PH, obviously. Um, it was very, like, it was like, wow. And he showed me, and then, oh my God. I can't believe I'm going to say this. Showed me how to do, like, a, a thing, a certain thing to a certain body part, which I'm not going to say because I don't want to risk getting I don't know demonetized even though or like this video taken down um I was like, oh okay and then um afterwards nothing didn't happen and then obviously um I think like a few months later so nothing happened afterwards I was like okay never thought about it again Few months later and then we had to move out in our old house which is literally next door um because i don't know i guess we were growing up and it was too big we only had two rooms and so we needed like three for my uh, little sister so we moved in rv for a bit while the house was remodeling and everything and um and it was boring and very claustrophobic because it was a small RV. It's not like those big ones. It was a small RVs and then I just I remember the exact time. I'm not going to specifically say what I was doing but like what I was like doing doing but I was doing it. That makes sense. So I was on my we had a bunk bed so I was sleeping on top. My little sister was sleeping on bottom. <laughs> my god this could be so embarrassing. 
I was on top and I was watching uh, like this Twitch streamer YouTuber oh my god and you already know what happened I'm not gonna say it because you get the idea and then clean up after myself and afterwards it's been continuous for until yesterday actually never ending and I remember last uh, no my ninth grade year so about two years ago I just somehow suddenly stopped for three for three months straight so after um, so this was after COVID ninth grade uh, so after spring break I just suddenly stopped and then all the way up to when summer started I um, relapsed again and man I felt real bad because I know one of the main reasons was because I was bored I was stuck at the house all day I didn't know what to do and I was lonely because the time I got rejected and I'm gonna talk about that part in a different video but I got rejected and I just cope with it so it's been never ending and there'll be like some it's not like every day every day it's like every other day and then like it'll be like every day and then like every day out of a few weeks you get what I mean it's like battles back and forth back and forth and obviously I know my solutions are but oh, I'm gonna step back but I just don't put them into action because obviously with everything gotta plan it out and take action and I already have it planned out I just need to take it action and sometimes well hold on barely realize there's a little bird right here oh my god okay let's get back action and some days I'd be taking like really good action some days like I just ignore it <sighs> and then fall back into temptation and then boom relapse and it's weird because I haven't watched or oh, I've been porn out in pornography free since eighth grade but I still do the bad habit the reason why is this may sound weird always have like these fantasies in my mind and that's the reason why it's so hard because if I'm gonna be very honest I wasn't really that addicted to it like the most I probably watched was like three four times a week which that's still a lot but like that's that lacks in comparison with like other people where they watch it like eight times a day i i just stopped because i don't know just feel didn't feel right and this one is just like tricks my brain because it's like your prefrontal cortex like your logical which is like right here and then like your animalistic brain it's like back here and when it comes to certain stuff like that your animal brain is like the most ancient part of your brain and like the prefrontal cortex is like the most logical part <sighs> see when I'm sweating oh yeah kind of could you not have under the shade is that even dead or alive okay so been what four years pornography free but still do the the bad habit, the other bad habit. Uh, and I've been really seeking God and Jesus for this. And I will say some things are starting to improve a lot. Because I've been more spirit, spiritually awakened. That's what I'm going to say. And 
I just need to really take more action and hopefully I can find answers with God. But right now I'm in the process. And for me, I think one of the reasons is because I've been so lonely. Dang. These mosquitoes for the past couple of years. So last time I dated was eighth grade and ever since I just didn't feel like I was worthy like I couldn't because I had insecurities like my height because I'm quite a short guy me being skinny or, or back then now I'm actually been going to the gym since over last year as much as possible but that I just feel like I just feel small in general and I just feel like every girl is not into small guys and or no I'm not really small I'm more like medium size but I just didn't I just felt like girls would have been into like those six foot plus guys, like Jacks, like you get what I mean from like the movies, like Instagram, all that stuff. I'm like, dang. So I kind of had a little black pill moment. <laughs> but now I'm starting to uh, get out of that mindset and then start really. I wouldn't say red pill because most red pills are more degenerate. And I think it's like the, uh, especially the uh, content you, um, you absorb. So if you absorb a lot of degenerate, uh, promiscuous content, like those, most red pill guys and you're gonna turn out like that and most of my fantasies were promiscuous degenerate um images like flashes but i've been really looking into traditionalism so like a uh, man woman gets married have kids just stuff like that and i'm it's been really quite helping this is just my testimony, so it's not really a guide. So, I have to like stop it. I'm just putting my foot in the door so, like, so I can be more comfortable talking about this stuff. So, I can properly give um, my younger self um, the guidance that he didn't have when he was younger. Because, man, that's like one habit that, like, I hate with my deep uh deep heart is my lustful habit that's something like if i had like a wish that's gonna be like the first witches that gone but it's a process and we'll go through failures and then eventually su succeed dang these mosquitoes <laughs> And it's going to be, it's like a business. So I'm getting a life lesson out of this. And it's going to be like a business. Because especially every entrepreneur goes through failure. Failure after failure after failure until they get to the success. And I'm in the process of like failure after failure after failure. And then just looking forward to the success. Dang. Hold on. And wow. I may feel a bit shamed even though I really have like four subscribers. And I don't know because I haven't really I don't even think some YouTubers have talked about this stuff very detailed and i have but i try not to uh, be very vulgar because again i will get demonetized before i get monetized that makes sense 
and hopefully I could get rid of this problem before anything else because it feels like this habit is zapping my potential and I, I will feel shame years later if I haven't done anything and I haven't done like the proper things like business, military, all that. So I'm kind of a little dehydrated. Kind of a little, just all that stuff to really be ashamed of. Like, man, I wish I was, I did all that stuff. Now, like in my 40s, 50s, 60s. And I know it's never too late, but like, just imagine what I did when I was younger than if I had to do it now. So this process will take years. And for me, it's been what, six years? And it's probably gonna take more. And I'm gonna find a solution properly because I watch a lot of those no fat videos and barely any of them help. Like, uh, like Hamza's um, no fat video kind of helped, but not really. And and like the thing he gets right is uh, like don't try to like etch it in the wall. Like I'm a day ninety five, like that I don't do because I know it's not good. Like I'm gonna be obsessed over it, and then if you if you're obsessed with it, you'll go back. But it's just like I just need to fix the mindset of it really and i think like oh you're like become an alpha male i don't think that doesn't help with him or with me because if i do think like i'm the alpha male i'm all that then my other um my other mind will uh, make an excuse and then like oh you're the alpha male so think about like with 10 like I don't know, like two, three girls, and then go do it, and then, uh, and then I do it. But I just really need to look for traditionalism, so all the degenerate um, content that I used to. Well, I, I don't really. watch degenerate stuff but i'm just saying like get rid of like all the degenerate music videos news just really get rid of that and really the best way is to be with nature a lot and i don't think that will solve every bad habit it's just be with nature like me I'm out here in a tree or at the trees, birds chirping sounds nice. I don't know if you can hear in the video, but it just sounds nice. Like you just feel like you belong here. And that's good. That's the thing I'm gonna do when I get older. Is like be more in tune with nature to help with my problems. Get back with our roots, our tribal roots. Because I would say a lot of modern uh, issues can be solved through nature. You being in nature, you becoming the nature itself. <sighs> but, I mean, I'm just here for it's just a testimony. And I know this, you ain't gonna look for an answer to this. This video is to help you get more comfortable with talking about it. So if you have like a similar issue, just comment down and we can, we can talk about it. You can be on the comment section. I, it can be like your Discord, WhatsApp, phone number, Instagram, Snapchat, 
even though you know those things are bad habits too but just so I could help you it is just so we can help each other and learn from each other okay and that's really about it this is my personal testimony and it probably won't be good but it's to get my foot in the door embrace your discomfort especially when you don't feel like it